Questions? All right. Well, uh, obviously very proud of our guys. As I told them, uh, they certainly have come a long way in two years. And, uh, you know, Chad Jackson and I were talking about that at the end of the game. Like two years ago, um, we came here and we grinded out a win. And, and today we look like a, a big time team for m most of the game. Uh, really proud of, of not them today, but them over, over the last two years, the process that they've had, the toughness, the grind, the ability to overcome adversity, the ability to shut out distractions. Um, and to go 11 and 1 in major college football is really, really hard to do. And um, uh, tying, you know, the the, one, the best team at Baylor, I think it uh, it's really a, an honor to our seniors and to the guys that have been here grinding away. I'm very proud to coach them. And um, I know everyone will talk at some point about next week. I told them, to make, let's make sure we talk about the last two years. Let's talk about what we've endured and been through and fought through and the brotherhood that they've built along the way. And uh, so I couldn't be prouder. Uh, credit to Kansas. I think, uh, I think they're building a tough, hard-nosed football team. And, they certainly didn't quit. They battled at the end. They drove it all the way down to the two-yard line. And, and uh, very excited to see our guys uh, uh, make a goal line stand and get a fourth quarter shutout. Matt, uh, you said a couple of times this week you thought they'd be really focused. And you were proven right. But why do you think that focus is there? Um, you know, I think all teams kind of go through a period where they're, where, where, where they're, they, they are learning how to win. And they're learning how to, who they are. And they're learning how to do what they do. And I thought that was in the middle of the season for us. Um, I thought that was the Texas Tech game and some of the games like that where, you know, just quite wasn't quite clicking. And um, I've watched them click. <laughs> you know, I've watched them grow and mature and um, do all the little things right. And so, you know, we're not certainly not a finished product yet, but um, they, uh, they attack you everything. They attack everything uh, day in and day out. And, and um, you know, on the radio call this week, someone asked me, hey, did you, you know, was there a big celebration in the locker room over the, over the Texas game? I said, no, it was, it was a great win. I'm happy. It was like every other week. And that's what it just was now. They, uh, these guys understand that the key to being successful is being the same guy every day. And they've, they've done that, and they've improved, and I'm proud of them. Matt, how big was that start when you got the wind at your back and you scored 21 in the first quarter just to kind of jump out like that? Yeah, I thought the wind was a real factor. You saw how much, you know, we had some trouble going this way, um, getting the ball yeah. up in the air. And, um, you know, we had a plan all week to really we're going to play Gary a lot, and then he got hurt. And, uh, you know, Charlie's ankle was bothering us. So we really didn't want to run him. And we knew to attack this defense we wanted a, a running threat at quarterbacks. So we thought, hey, we'll play two quarterbacks. And um, But so while we had the wind at our back, we took advantage of, of some opportunities. And guys made some plays. Taekwon made a great long catch. You know, Denzel made a great long catch. And, um, you know, then, then into the wind, we're able to get some things going with the run game. And certainly the defense, I don't know how many turnovers they got, but they got, they got a lot. And uh, that, you know, I think we protected the ball, right? We didn't turn the ball over. Oh, yeah, the pick, yeah. Darn it. So, uh, um, but I thought we did a good job in, the, in that, those areas. Matt, uh, just uh, not having Charlie to take as much wear and tear, uh, that, that had to be a big thing, being able to use Gary. Yeah, and I'd say that in a lot of positions, right? We didn't we didn't play Bravion, Lynch, or Locke after halftime. You know, at the end of the day, we wanted to win this game, and we were only going to focus on this game. But uh, that's the process. But planning is planning, and so we got to halftime. It was thirty-one nothing, and we were able to take Charlie out, able to take Gary out, able to take Locke out, able to take Chris Miller out, because you know one hit for Chris and he's done for you know a year or whatever it is. I mean, so um, I thought those things were big, getting the lead and then getting guys to play. I mean, you saw what some of the things Gary can do even with a hurt knee. El Zeno, you saw him get in there and make some great throws. Uh, I mean, Garrett McGuire got in there and had a great run, and um, Quaylen gets in the end zone. So, I mean, those kids are redshirting. They just finished their redshirt year scoring touchdowns, and that's uh, that's awesome. But the real story for me is, you know, it's the Jamichael Hasties, it's the Denzels, it's the, you know, all those guys that are unselfish that do everything. But I think everyone, everything but maybe two or three guys over on the trip got a chance to play tonight. What or who specifically made you run defense so good? I mean, our, our run defense has, has, you know, has really, has really been good against everyone except, you know, the only time people have been able to run the ball against us is when they run the quarterback, and uh, they didn't really run the quarterback a ton today. Um, so I mean, I think pretty quickly we got a lead, and those things all kind of go hand in hand, right? You're up 21 nothing, 24 nothing, and they kind of stopped running it for a while, and they went and dropped back, got some picks, and then they went back to the run game at the end, and you know, I know Puka got some yards there in the fourth quarter. Credit to him, he's a great player, but. Um, I think, you know, I think really it was just sort of, you know, the fact that, they, that their offense is a little bit more run RPO, and, and um, so there was really no running threat from the quarterback. And, and uh, you know, the last couple of weeks, the quarterback for the other team has been the leading rusher. So our inside guys, Bravion, Locke, Lynch, uh, Jay Will, um, uh, uh, 
trust in those guys all do a great job of taking away the, the base run game. Yeah, well, why do you think this defense got, has gotten so good at forcing turnovers this year? The players. You know, every bit of success we have is the players. And, um, you know, I think Joey McGuire's done an amazing job of co I mean, it's all he coaches and talks about all the time. Um, but it comes with confidence, man. I mean, like, you only create turnovers when you're confident enough to do your job and you can see the whole thing. You know, I, like, I liken it to when you first learn to drive a car. You know, first learn to drive a car, you're looking at the six feet in front of you. Then you start looking at your lane. Then pretty soon, you know, you get your, you know, your, your arm. You know, I have my arm around Julie and we're listening to music and I'm changing the channel. It's, you see everything, right? And so these guys, as they get more confident, they see more and more things. And we got some ball hawks, man. I mean, um, Graylon Arnold's a ball hawk. He goes and makes plays on the ball. Uh, Henry Black, I was so happy for Henry. Zeke got one today. So I think those things have added in. Yeah, I mean, Isaac was a difference maker, you know, absolute difference maker. And um, something clicked for him a couple weeks ago. Rauschenberg, Mayers kicked, kicked two field goals into the win. So I'm um, really proud of those those things. But the punt game, you know, we got two turnovers, I think, on punts or one or two. I mean, two. Yeah, so. Um, you know, I don't know if you noticed with us, we went punt safe and didn't try to fair catch. We let the ball roll, and everyone's yelling and screaming because the ball's going on the one. And I said, I don't care. Like, I felt good about our offense today. I felt good about our defense, and we knew the way we would lose the game is if we got turnovers. And that wind was a couple times there that was like, you know, like scary. The wind was swirling and moving, and so it wasn't just like a light breeze. So um, I think we did a good job. You know, Andrew Altoff and those guys had us prepared for the wind, and uh, it was windy week in Waco, which was great. We had some great practices, on, you know, um, out there when it was not great weather. That's all we talk about is, you know, we wear shirts and we say things, we say what's next all the time, but I, we try to get them to live it. You know, at the end of the day, um, not, not any one play is more important than the next. And, and we're trying to build a brand of like being tough and hardworking and competitive. And when you're competitive, you don't place value on one play or the other. You know, you try to do everything as hard as you can get it. And when you have that mindset that everything counts, that everything is important, it, uh, it changes your life, to be quite honest with you. And so I think that's why we've, you know, like the defensive guys were wanted to fight me on the sidelines because they wanted to go back in there because they wanted to have a shutout. And, um, you know, which is great. But at the same time, um, um, you know, we have a game next week too. So it was great to get a great dominant win like this. It was great to get a lot of guys a chance to play. A lot of those kids that were playing at the end, man, it practiced for us and they're on the scout team. And, um, but I do think it's important for our guys to always have the same mindset. Um, I, I told our guys when after that game was over, I said, we're not going to talk about the game again until 12.01. I had the exact date I have. I forget what it is. It's like 11, whatever. I had a thing. I said, hey, we'll talk about it then. Um, so it'll be a great opportunity. And we've earned our way into it. And, you know, sometimes when you're like in the SEC, you say, hey, we were SEC West champions or East champions. And I don't know what we're, we're like, I think we're called title participants. But to me, these guys are, they're, they're champions. They won, they, you know, they finished, they finished, uh, I don't know what happens to Oklahoma tonight, but they're finished, you know, with the best, second, the tied for the best record in the league, and um, so it'll be a great week. But right now, I told them, I said, let's let's enjoy, um, let's enjoy f getting 11 wins. That's hard to do. I've never done it before. Right. Jim Michael, Jim Michael having his game. You mentioned him earlier, but just a senior, you know, playing in his last regular season. Did yeah. Have that kind of game. Yeah, it was great. Three, three touchdowns. Yeah, just uh, physical, dominant. You know, he, he stepped up. Abner stepped. Love it. Went down early and. And to have those guys step up. And then we knew we had Quaylen waiting in the wings. Abram Smith, you know, waiting in the wings, who's been playing linebacker and went over and played tailback. So always happy when I get to see those guys who grind have a chance. Can you compare the last one, this win uh, after this season, how good it's been? And maybe think back to what the feeling was like after that first win against Kansas two years ago. Are they similar in any No, no. The first win was the ultimate relief. Um, you know, because at the time, we were being laughed at. You know, I mean, I remember seeing people that I, I consider, like, people that some of our guys would call friends laughing at us on social media. And um, I, didn't, I knew if we lost this, game, laughed, lost this game, then we would be laughed at even worse. And I saw the grind, and I saw the work. And I'm old enough and, and hopefully mature enough to not care what people say about me. I care what, you know, my family and these players think about me. But I knew what they were undergoing. And so it was unbelievable relief because I didn't want to let them down on that day. Because I knew we would have been, we would have been, you know, uh, no disrespect, but it was just, you know, we have two winless teams, or I think they had one win. This one now, this one's a statement. This was a statement about us and our commitment to each other. Because if you're not committed to each other, you don't come play like this with a championship game looming next week. 
and our, our guys were committed to each other. And so that's been built. But I'll say this, we wouldn't be here if it wouldn't have been there, right? So that's the cool thing to me is everything in life that you think, what was my message there? You think it's adversity, it's just preparing you for what's next, man. So go through it, learn from it, deal with it, don't run from it, and be ready to go get after life afterwards.